Hello everybody, today I have a little bit of a different video here today. This one is a product review video. And today we're gonna to be looking at Ultimate Pro Fit Edge inner sleeves with the black borders and the Ultimate Guard uh, Bordifies Precise Fit inner sleeves with solid borders for customizing and unifying your carts. Basically what these are, they are inner sleeves. If you know what those are, they're inner sleeves and they have these special black borders around them. So originally these were designed from old magic cards that had the white border and people wanted them to match their rest of their magic cards that had black borders. But <laughs> Redemption is a game where we play with all the white cards, all the white borders. And so the question I'm gonna be asking myself, are, are these products worth it for Redemption players looking to maybe trade out their white borders for some black border cards? Okay, so first let's talk about, you get a hundred sleeves in each one. And it's pretty hard to find these online. I had to go to Amazon. I had to play, pay a markup. So they're pretty pricey. Maybe I'll put the how much I paid for them in the video description. They both say 64 millimeter by 89 millimeter, but in my experience, the Ultimate Guard are smaller. Here's what I mean. Here's what I mean by that. So I'm gonna take my magnifying multitudes. I'm gonna grab an Ultra Pro one, and I'm gonna sl slide it in there. Make sure I got the, the black facing forward. And it's a tight fit, not gonna lie. So I have to really like do this carefully. And if I had to say like, the, if anything, these sleeves are a little bit too small for redemption cards. And so as a result, I don't know if you can see this, but there's like the card is bending and there's like an air pocket between the card and the sleeve. And so all the cards are kind of almost like bending a little bit. So that's ultra pro. All the cards, so teaching parables, you, it's a little bit more noticeable for this one. You know, that's pretty bad. Um, so yeah, let's grab, let's, let's take out Magnify Multitudes and let's try the Ultimate Guard now. The Ultimate Guard sleeves, they have a little bit more of a uh, flimsy texture. These ones, the Ultra Pros have a little bit of a nicer texture, but I don't know how often you're going to be touching these. So see what happens when I try to do the same thing here. It's already like a lot tighter fit. I, having trouble even like getting it on i really have to just force it in there and i feel like i'm gonna like damage the card or something so anyways and so i, I put it all the way in there and the warp on this is really bad you can see it's even worse than what i was doing with the uh, ultra, ultra pro ones so i'm gonna take this out of here before i damage anything and unfortunately i cannot recommend the ultimate guard or redemption players because they're just a little bit too small I would recommend Ultra Pros because they at least, you know, in theory, fit your cards without damaging them. So yeah, I've ended up buying some of these Ultimate Guard ones and now I, I can't even use them, which is quite unfortunate. But I at least I made that mistake so you guys don't have to. So I'm just going to put these away and I'm gonna just going to focus the rest of the video on these. So these are the inner sleeve experience. What does it look like when the entire deck is full of these? Okay, so let's put these aside and let's take out a look at let's take a look at the deck I sleeved up earlier. Boom. <laughs> so this is a 50 card deck with a 10 card reserve. And for comparison, here is a, a 50 card deck. I don't have 10 cards in reserve. So yeah, let me just do a little comparison here. Take the reserve out. But like if I just mush these together, you can see that it's all it's like almost like double the space. Especially because these ones keep expanding. And the reason they do that is, remember the slight bend in the cards? It leaves kind of an air pocket right there. So air will get under there. And so when you put your sleeve in the card, it creates this little air pocket. And sure, you can press it down, but because of the bend, it's just going to let more air in. And so as a result, you get your deck always looking like this. <laughs> so this deck is like, it's massive. So it's a trade-off. It's a trade-off. Do you want your deck looking nice or do you want it looking a little big? And Redemption has pretty low, small deck sizes. So I think in Redemption, you can get away with, you know, these, these type of sleeves. Like it doesn't make the deck too unwieldy. If you've ever like played Commander, it's not as bad as shuffling a Commander deck. It's more shuffle. You can still shuffle and the, and the shuffle is nice and it's just a little bit unwieldy as far as, um, you know how how the deck kind of sits on the on the field if you have a uh, new card sleeves and you sleeved up your deck with all the inner sleeves like that 
it is going to slide around a lot. I've noticed that. So I had just like tried out these dragon shields a couple days ago and <laughs> I had to keep my deck in like two things for a second because it's just going like that all the time. And the curves, the inner shield, the inner, the inner sleeves do not help with that problem. But yeah, let's just take a look at the deck as I'm just fanning it out. We'll just kind of see here and you'll just maybe kind of notice some things for yourself. Overall, like at a glance, it looks pretty nice. But on all the cards, it seems to have a, you can always see the white at the bottom. There's always a little tiny white line at the bottom. And depending on how well centered your card is, that it can, it can get worse. So here's a humble, it's not really well centered. Maybe it's like a little bit this way. And so as you can see, there's white all around it. I mean, so it doesn't look terrible, but it's like little things like that just kind of maybe would annoy some people. So I, I want to point that out. And also for the Israel's Rebellion cards that have the thicker white border, this is kind of what it looks like. <laughs> it, it doesn't look good. I wish I wish the Israel's Rebellion's cards would have had a normal border, but you know, we can make that border. This looks like a normal redemption card now with if you put the black border on it. I, I feel like also the, the full border cards look nice this way too. So like there's a th full border three woes, full border shield. Those look pretty good. Border. Oh wait, no, that's just that's just a regular Son of God. But like it, it makes your Son of God look like full border. So that's really cool. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I wanted to say about these? Overall, I think they are worth it. Sure, they're a little bit inconvenient to sleeve. Sure, they make your deck a little bit bigger, but they aren't harming your cards in any way. They make it look really nice and clean. And for me, these are going to be worth it. So. I'll post a link in the description about where I found these and maybe you can pick up some for yourself. One last thing here. I do have some Ubuni Tim Nationals 2024 sleeves. If you're going to be at Nationals, be sure to find me. I will give you a little box of these as a thank you for watching my videos. So come and find me. I'm in the jungle. I'll be one of these monkeys. I'm not a monkey, but hopefully you'll find me or whatever. Oh yeah. I guess the last thing I wanted to say is like, I don't think I've tried this, but how would a card with an inner black sleeve look against a card sleeve with a white border? So you notice all these are black. The card sleeves themselves are black, so it's nice to have black on black. But what if I took one of these Baboonie Tim sleeves and I put, you know, one of the cards in here? So let me just do that. The best way I found to do that is to kind of hold it like this and then use your thumbs and your pointer fingers just to point it down, push it down uniformly. There we are. All right. So how does this look? Not expecting this to look good. Huh. I mean, it looks kind of clean. I mean, yeah. What do you think looks better? I don't know. I really don't know. I think I like the black and black better, but I feel like it could work with the white sleeves too. So anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching. Boonie Tim product review video. See you around.